We've drawn a projectile that is being launched with an initial speed of v naught at an angle theta naught. It will be useful to remind ourselves that we can break that initial speed into two components. We have an x component that points to the right, and then a y component that points straight up. Now, for the x component, we can see that we've drawn a right triangle. And in that right triangle, we have the cosine of the angle theta naught is equal to the adjacent side, which is going to be our x component of the initial velocity, over the hypotenuse, which is labeled v naught. And we want to solve this for the initial velocity in the x direction, that is the x component of the initial velocity. So we simply multiply both sides of the equation by v naught. And when we do that, these will cancel out. And we can see, therefore, that the x component of the initial velocity is v naught cosine theta. And the reason that's important is because over here at the maximum height, we can see that the velocity is pointing exclusively in the horizontal direction. There is no velocity component either downward or upward at the maximum height. So that would mean that this velocity that points to the right would be the same as this velocity that we just found. Remember that in the x direction, whatever the initial velocity is, will be constant throughout the problem because there's no acceleration in the x direction. There's no change in the velocity in the x direction. So it's a long story, but this velocity vector right here is the same as the x component. So it is the v naught cosine theta naught. So this would represent the speed at the maximum height. And then we were told that the initial launch speed over here was v naught. So now let's go to the statement. We can finally translate it into an equation. It says the launch speed, which again is v naught, is, which would be equals, five times, five times the speed at maximum height. Remember, the speed at maximum height was v naught cosine of theta naught. So that's the equation that we have, and we can solve that equation for theta naught. So why don't we write it down here so that we can algebraically manipulate it. Notice, by the way, if your question has something other than five times, you would simply replace the number given to you in your question with this five right here. So if it was like 3.6 times, then you would fill in 3.6 instead of five, etc. So now we're going to solve this for theta naught, and we'll divide both sides by v naught. Doing so cancels the v naughts, but it does leave us with a one on the left hand side. And then continuing to solve for theta naught, we will divide both sides by five. So now we have one fifth is equal to the cosine of theta naught. Finally, to solve for theta naught, we take the inverse cosine on both sides of this equation. And by doing that, the right hand side, the inverse cos and the cos cancel. And we're left with theta naught is equal to the inverse cosine of one fifth. You would punch that into your calculator so long as it was set on degree mode. And that would leave you with 78.5 degrees is equal to theta naught. So this would be the correct answer to the question.